So you have 6 plus 8 equals 14. <coughs> Check it out. If I add 3 here, am I supposed to take away 3 or add 3 over here? Add 3. Add 3, add three okay. And I add 3 here. This, by the way, this is like your teeter-totter center. This is your balance point. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. If you do it twice over here, that, that would be a bad thing. So what we do on the left, we also do on the right-hand side of our equation. Let's see what this works out to. How much is the right-hand side? 17. How much is the left-hand side? 17. It's still the same thing, and that should make sense. I mean, if you're adding the same number to both sides of your equation, you are going to have the same value if they initially were equal. That's the idea behind the addition property of equality. Uh, a very kind of weird name or a long name for something that, that's not too hard to understand, I hope. How many people were okay with that? Very good. So basically, in layman's terms, what this says is that you can add the same number to both sides of your equation. I'm also going to add a little, little extra statement on here. I know it's the addition property of equality, but we're also going to find out that this works with subtraction as well. So we're going to say you can add or subtract the same number from both sides of your equation. Let's do a few examples on how this applies to some equations. Because right now it's like, well, well, duh, 6 plus 8 equals 14 already. How does this help us out with something like, like that? And we're going to get to those eventually. Um, but right now we're going to start off kind of nice and basic here. So let's say I gave you an equation. x minus 4 equals negative 1. And we want to solve that. Listen, here's the idea about solving an equation. Your ultimate goal is you want to get the variable all by itself. Nothing else around it, just variable equals number. That's what you want. Are you with me on this? You want just the variable by itself. What's our variable? X. Is it by itself on one side of the equation right now? Yes. By itself means there's nothing else over there. No. No. What else is over there? Minus 4. Minus four. That minus four, that's something we need to get rid of. So our idea here is to isolate, isolate means get by itself, isolate the variable. That means you're going to do undo everything around that variable. Isolate the variable, that means we're going to undo everything around it. Let's look back at our equation. What we need to know is that the equation comes automatically balanced. Just like your balance beam that I erased over here, just like this thing. It comes balanced initially. How we show that balance? Put a vertical line right through that equals. What that does, it's kind of a graphic organizer. You might have seen that before if you've ever had equations. It's just a graphic organizer that says, if I put something on the left-hand side of that line, I have to put exactly the same thing on the right. I'll repeat that because some of you are already zoning out in here. If you do the same, if you do one thing to the left-hand side that's on the left-hand side of this line, you must do exactly the same thing to the right side of this line. Not your head if you're with me on that. The exact same thing. So we've got to go ahead and say, okay, our variable's here. You already said the minus 4 is next to the variable. I need to get rid of that. So we need to understand what undoes minus 4. What's the opposite of minus 4? Positive 4. 4, or instead of the, op instead of the opposite of 4, well, 
We're talking about the opposite of minusing 4. What's the opposite of minusing 4? Four? Plus 4. Adding 4, that's right, exactly. If we add 4 to this, is the plus 4 going to undo the minus 4? Absolutely. Yeah, what we need to know over here is that addition is going to undo subtraction, subtraction is going to undo addition. Addition undoes subtraction, subtraction undoes addition. Hey, is this good enough? You just add four to the left hand side, is that okay? Both sides. That's why we drew that line right there. What I do to the left hand side, I have to do to the right hand side. If you keep that down, you can do almost darn near anything to an equation and it's still equal. Almost anything. Uh, you can add, subtract, multiply, divide. You can take square roots, take the powers. You can do all sorts of stuff. Uh, to both sides of the equation is still equal. We're just learning about the addition right now. So we can add 4 here. If you add 4 here, what's on the board? Am I supposed to subtract 4 over here? No. No, what we do is we keep it even. If you're going to put 4 pounds on the left-hand side of the scale, you have to put 4 pounds on the right-hand side of the scale to keep that thing balanced. On our teeter-totter, if you, listen, if that doesn't make sense to you, if you're like, oh my gosh, why are we adding 4 here and not subtracting here? Think about your balance. If you add four pounds to this side, and you take off four pounds from this side, you're going to definitely go like this, aren't you? So if we wanted to keep it level, if you add four pounds over here, you also have to add four pounds over there. That keeps it balanced. It's like putting two kids of the same weight on the teeter-totter at the same time. It's not going to move. If you put a kid on here and take a kid off here, it's going to go up in the air. It's not balanced anymore. Kids are going to go flying. Whoa! <laughs> anyway, let's keep going on this thing. What is our minus 4 plus 4? How much does that give you? 8. 8? Oh my. That oh, wouldn't no. work very well. Zero. Zero. Yeah, if we look at that, we have minus 4 here, we're adding 4 to it. You could do or operations. If, if, you're, if you're not seeing this very well, you can write it out just like we did those problems before. You change this to a plus negative. Look at that. Different signs, subtract, if that's zero, you get x. This does work the same way that we just, we just learned. Now, you don't have to show this every time. That's OK. Uh, in fact, you can just do addition rule right from here. I hope that you're seeing this. If you just did, if you covered up that x and just looked at these two numbers with the sign, with the sign, minus 4 or negative 4, positive, plus 4 or positive 4, are the signs the same or different? Different. You would subtract. 4 minus 4 is 0. Yeah. That goes away. How much are you going to be left with on the left-hand side? Okay. It still equals. That line means equals. Let's do the same thing on the right-hand side of our equation. We have negative 1 plus 4. Negative 1 plus 4. We're adding. We're going to be using those addition rules. What's negative 1 plus 4? They have different Three. signs. You would? 3 to check. Good. Sign a bigger number. Great. Three. Most people put a box around the answer just to make sure that you, you have the solution listed somewhere like that. Tell me something. Can you check if that is a valid solution? Can you check that? Yeah. How? Yeah. If you plug that back in, just like we did over there, that's why we did that first. You can always check to see if your solution works. And we should be doing that, that, that at this level. If you plug that in, 3 minus 4, 3 plus negative 4, that's negative 1. That does work out. That is a solution. Would you nod your head feel all right with what we're doing so far? Yes, no? OK. Iffy sometimes. We're going to do a whole bunch more examples. Uh, we're going to start building these up little by little until we get to stuff that looks like that and beyond.
Okay, so first of all, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this problem together. Is this an equation or an expression? Equation. Definitely, it's got an equal sign. Very good. What's your variable? Y. Is there anything surrounding that variable that you need to get rid of? Yes. That's it. So we're going to draw our line. That signifies that we have two sides. That line goes always underneath the equal sign, saying what I do to the left-hand side, I also have to do to the right-hand side. Now the question is, since you've already identified the variable and you've identified something needs to be removed, how do you remove that minus 6? What's the opposite of minus 6? Good. And so we know if we do something to the left-hand side, we must also do it to the right-hand side. So we add 6 here. That's going to remove the minus 6. Those things are opposite. They're called inverses. Inverses undo each other. And that means we also have to not subtract 6 from the right, but add it. This line must look identical. It must have the same thing on the left and the right. That's the only way you keep a teeter-totter or a balance even. On the left-hand side, what are we going to be left with, folks? Y, y. Perfect. On the right-hand side, we can use a different addition rules. They have different signs. Sign of the bigger number, you're going to get how much? Four. Four. Again, could you check your work? Yes. Plug that in there. Four minus six is certainly negative two. So at least we should be checking that mentally. Okay, we've got an equation. Our variable is now x. Let's look at this one, though. Will addition work to get rid of that plus 3 that we need to remove? No. Here we've got a line saying we're equal. Minus three. Yeah, why, why minus 3? Because it's the opposite. Okay, good. So we're just trying to undo things. So we're looking for what's called an inverse operation, something that will undo what's already there. Here we add it because we add minus 6. The opposite of minus 6 is plus 6. Here, since we have the plus 3, we're trying to remove the 3 because the x is what we're trying to isolate. We're going to subtract 3 from both sides. What's going to be on the left-hand side of our equation? X. On the right-hand side? 4. Still check work. 4 plus 3 is 7. We know we got that one right. We're going to go quickly through a few more of these just to really get the handle on this stuff, and then I'll let you go and do a couple on your own, okay? First thing, it's an equation. Draw the line under the equal sign that's keeping it equals. What's our variable up here, ladies and gentlemen? Y. What are we trying to get rid of? The 12. Good. How are we going to get rid of that 12? Good. So we're subtracting 12, not just from one side, but anytime you do something to an equation, we do it from both sides. So since this is plus 12, we're going to subtract 12 from both sides. On the left-hand side, what are we left with? Y. That's what we want, right, on the left. That's why we did that whole step, is to get rid of the 12. That's why we did that. On the right-hand side, we've got 3, we've got minus 12. Remember, since you are adding or subtracting, you are going to be using the addition rule. I, I hope you write that down, or at least have that in your head. When you add or subtract, you are going to use the addition rules. Are you with me? Because pretty soon we're going to be using addition and subtraction and then multiplication division. I can't have you get those rules confused. And right now we're using addition rules because we're getting rid of addition subtraction. Are you with me? That's why we're using addition rules. 